Hi, my name is Gina Grimm again. I'm with Pikes Peak Library District, and today I'm here to talk about journaling. Journaling can be a great way to practice self-care, as it helps you keep in touch with your thoughts and feelings as they come up. Personally, I've only been journaling for a few years, but it's quickly became one of my favorite coping mechanisms. Very proud of my journals. Anyways, today I would like to talk about my top five favorite journaling techniques for self-care. The first of which is free association journaling. Free association journaling is simply the practice of putting your pen into paper and writing about whatever you feel like. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can set a timer for a minute, for three minutes, or five minutes. And all you gotta do is keep writing about what's on your mind. Free association journaling can be helpful as it can help you identify thoughts and feelings as they come to the surface. Free association journaling can also just be a great way to feel productive. If you've been feeling stressed out, if you're not getting enough done, be nice to look down on a full sheet of paper about what you've been writing about. So the next technique I'd like to talk about is grounding techniques for journaling, one of which is the five senses check-in. So you can journal about what you see, what you hear, what you taste, what you smell, and what you feel. And you can check in and just write a little bit about each of those sentences. This can be a helpful grounding technique as it can acquaint you with your environment. If you're feeling really stressed out and anxious, or your head's in the clouds, it can be helpful to ground yourself to your environment. The next sort of techniques I'd like to talk about are meditative journaling techniques. Meditative journaling techniques can be good if you have a place you like to go or think about when you feel stressed out. It can be helpful to further develop that place, be it real or not, by writing about it. And that way it can be easier to access that sort of place or that sort of memory um, when you're feeling stressed out. A particular sort of meditative journaling technique is vision journaling. So let's say you've been spending a lot of time cooped up in your house because of current events and you'd like to imagine a different place. You could journal about your dream house, where it would be, what it would look like, what the rooms would have in them. Personally, I'm a fan of dream house journaling. The next thing I'd like to talk about is writing lists. So if you're feeling really stressed out, like you have a lot to do, writing to-do lists can just be a simple way to journal. You can prioritize things and work on the things that are more immediately attainable so that there's less just buzzing around in your head. And other lists you could make are lists of things you like about yourself or if you're feeling down. You could write lists of things that are stressing you out so you can more easily, easily identify those things. There's all sorts of different kinds of lists you can write. The last thing I'd like to talk about is writing a letter. You can be a letter to someone alive, someone dead, someone fictional, someone non-fictional, but just writing a letter to someone in general uh, can be a good way to process your feelings towards that person. So it can be a vent letter that you don't send, just a letter you write to crumple up, um, if you're really upset with that person, or if you're struggling to try to find the words to tell someone something, it can be a productive way to structure what you'd like to say to that person. So I think those are my five favorite journaling techniques. We talked about free association, we talked about grounding techniques, we talked about meditative journaling techniques, we talked about writing lists, we talked about writing letters. Thanks for listening today. Hope you have a good one. Bye!